सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड डी आई टी एफ एफ टी एलगोरिदम्स एंड टू ऑफ टू ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम वन इज फोर पॉइंट डी एफ टी वन इज एट पॉइंट डी एफ टी एंड वी हैव सीन इट्स स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो राइट सो नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इनवर्स ऑफ दैट दैट इज आई टी आई टी एफ एफ टी दैट इज इनवर्स डेसिमेशन इन टाइम ओके Uh, if you know the DIT FFT concept very well, you can uh, easily uh, uh, write this because this is just the inverse of that. Okay. So those who have not seen that video, I uh, suggest you all to please see that video, then come and watch this video. Okay, it is available in our channel. And uh, let us start with this concept now. Here in this IDIT FFT algorithms, inverse decimation in time. That is, uh, in the last session we have discussed about an eight point DFT, right? Okay, considering that in mind, I have drawn one structure for eight point IDFT here. Okay, in this, what is to, uh, what is what are the changes I am going to tell you? Very simple. Okay, uh, I am going to tell explain you the structure as well as this graph here, which I have already explained in the last session. Again, I am going to tell you all that. So, here in IDFT, first uh, uh, consider for DIT what what we have considered here in the input side. the inputs are shuffled right in in input and this is output and here in that uh, in dit we have discussed that in inputs were shuffled right according to the pairs so now in this key in idit the outputs are shuffled inputs are remained as it is that is capital x of 0 all the dfts right x of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 the inputs would be remaining in the sequence in case of idit then here in the output side the sequence changes that is this is x of 0 the bit reversal would be taking place again i have explained to you in the last session what is a bit reversal okay according to that write the outputs here x of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and one simple change here is there that is whatever the output side we should be dividing by n that is how much ever the length of the sequence given in the question that much we should be dividing for example if this is an 8 point idft we should be dividing by 8 for all these terms and that after division of 8 the answers which we get that would be our final idft sequence okay this is one change one more change is in the structure okay inter integral structure where in case of dit how we, we were writing first we would be writing the pairs of 2 Then four, then eight, right? In case of IDIT, it is ulta. That is, uh, first we would be writing the uh, pair of eight, then pair of four, then pairs of two. Okay, this is one change that I am going to explain you while solving the problem. One more change is in the inputs here. Uh, the downward arrow minus one that is common. I have told you, right? One more change is in the in the I in DIT. What we would be doing? W A R. or uh, w uh, base 8 to the power 0 we would be writing in the input size right so in case of idit where the downward arrow uh, meets right that output points should be writing these values w 8 to the power minus 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 why this is minus 0 in case of idit we will represent it as minus 0 and the values of this in this graph i have told you that we should be checking how we should be checking we should be checking anti clockwise okay that is if this is w to the power minus 0 then this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 right like that so if this is w power 0 is 1 then w power minus 1 is this value then minus 2 then minus 3 okay yeah so these were some of the changes here here also in the output side you should be writing and that's it so i hope you understood the structure very carefully so now let's solve two problems that are both are 8 point dfts only okay 8 point idfts so let's solve those problems this is the next question 6b so the question says that using linear convolution find y of n is equal to x of n into h of n for the sequences they have mentioned it as x of n as 1 2 minus 1 2 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 1 1 2 minus 1 okay the length of the sequence is 12 And h of n, that is the impulse response. I mentioned it as one comma two. Compare the result by solving the problem using overlap save and overlap add method. Consider the block length to be eight. In this question, they have not mentioned the block length. Okay, in the model paper, so the block length should be given actually. But whenever the block length is not mentioned, the standard block length to be taken is eight. Okay, keep it in mind. Whenever the block length is not mentioned. Take the block length is equal to eight. It is a standard block length for these kind of problems for overlap save and overlap add. So in the question they have not mentioned it, so that's why I have taken block length is equal to eight. 
so again i've told you uh, i've solved many many problems related to this right so i'm just going to explain it again first you should be taking the length of the sequence as 8 that is l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus 1 for the linear convolution part this is the formula to be taken so here in this case the block length is 8 we should be finding the new block length that is l1 considering the impulse response block length okay that is here it is 2 so substitute it is 8 is equal to new block length l1 plus l2 is the uh, given block length of impulse response that is 2 minus 1 so 8 is equal to l1 plus 1 if you solve it you will be getting l1 is equal to 7 now according to task we should be writing the new sequences x1 of n x2 of n how to write it since uh, the block length should be 8 so it should be consisting of 8 terms but here the new block length they have mentioned it as 7 so from the actual input x of n we should be taking only 7 terms maximum terms allowed to be taken is 7 but here the block length should be equal to 8 so that's why in overlap save method we should be adding the zeros at the first okay but in overlap add method the procedure is different should be adding the zeros at the end okay as i've told you so add one zero because the block length should be 8 if we add one zero it's more than enough if we add one zero then seven terms we can take from here that is first seven terms up to minus 3 take it and write the first sequence and then for x2 of n again since this is overlap save so that's why the last term last only one term because we should be making the length as 8 right last only one single term take it as the first term of the second sequence that is minus 3 then take the second seven terms from the sequence here so here we have only five terms minus 1 1 1 2 minus 1 after that we don't have any terms so consider zeros okay yeah so now this procedure we should be doing till we should be getting the complete sets of 0 right so here if you consider the next sequence x3 of n so last term is 0 again we don't have any terms here we should be taking again all the zeros so we would be getting the complete sequence of zeros okay till that we should be doing so till that we have done here if you do the next sequence you will be getting complete zeros so that's why we have got x1 of n and x2 of n also h of n Again, H of n also, we should be making the block length equal to 8. So, 1, 2 and add 6 zeros. Now, do the circular convolution part. Y of y1 of n is equal to x1 of n, circularly convoluted with H of n. Okay, where y1, uh, x1 of n is this sequence here. Uh, do it 8 times. 8 times is not required because here we have only 2 terms. Okay, so do uh, 2 times you rotate it and uh, do the convolution part. So, this, would, this sequence you would be getting here. I hope you know it. So this is the first answer of y1 of n and y2 of n again take the x2 of n here sequence okay rotate it twice then one uh, this is the right the h of n and do the matrix multiplication and this is the answer we will be getting okay and then write these two sequences separately here whatever answers we have got for y1 of n that is 6 1 4 3 0 7 4 minus 7 and y2 of n we have got it as minus 3 minus 7 minus 1 3 4 3 2 0 okay do right like this the next step is how much values we have saved right at the first at the beginning we have saved one value right so from these two sequences the only first term we should cancel okay how many values are saved that many values we should cancel and at the end how many zeros also are there that how many zeros are there that also should be cancelled okay after cancelling that term rewrite the final sequence y of n okay in a, in the standard order so we should not be changing the order in this formula you should be writing okay that is 1 4 3 0 7 4 minus 7 then next term is minus 7 here minus 1 3 4 3 2 and 0 should be neglecting so now the length of this sequence is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 how to verify it now we can do again apply this formula l is equal to l1 plus l2 minus 1 where it should be finding the new length of the sequence right for that l is equal to the l1 consider the input sequence x of n because we are finding the length of y of n this time right so that's why input sequence is uh, 12 the length of the input sequence so 12 plus 2 that is h of n length minus 1 so 12 plus 2 is 14 minus 1 is 13 again you can che check the length of the sequence we have got 13 only okay so this is the answer of y of n when we solve this problem using overlap save method now the same problem can be solved using overlap add method also but different procedure but the answer will be getting same okay so overlap add method again how to do it this first procedure remains the same of finding the uh, initial block length uh, by the given block length 8 find the value of l1 again it remains 7 again now for overlap add method from the sequence input sequence 
since the block length should be 8, you should be taking 7 terms from the input sequence and writing it first and at the end you should be adding 0, okay, in overlap add. Again, after uh, writing the first sequence, x2 of n, again, take the terms from, uh, the remaining terms from the input sequence, uh, 5 terms are there, then after that, uh, we don't have any terms, so add the zeros, okay. So like this, you should be doing till we get the complete sequence of zeros. Again, next term is not possible. You would be getting zero itself. So these two are the sequences x1 of n, x2 of n. Again, h of n, make it uh, block length to be 8 by adding 6 zeros. Again, take the circular convolution of these two sequences here, y1 of n and y2 of n. Okay, by doing matrix multiplication, these two sequences will be getting here like this. Okay, now rewrite them. Uh, so uh, I've told you one method to how to write these sequences, right? So y1 of n, write as it is 1, 4, 3, 0, 7, 4, minus 7, minus 6. y2 of n, we, sh we, ha we have to add the value of uh, like uh, only one extra value which we had added, right? At the first. Okay, since the block length is 8 and actual block length we have got 7. So the difference between them is 1. So the f we should be starting the second sequence from the last value. In case the the number of added values is 2, we should be starting the sequence from the second last value. Okay, that's the standard way of writing in order to under, uh, get the answer in the easiest manner. So here, from the last term, start the second sequence and the last term and the first term of the second sequence, you should be adding them. Okay, and rest all the sequences, write it, uh, terms, write it as it is. That is 1, 4, 3, 0, 7, 4, minus 7, till there, write it as it is. Then minus 6 and minus 1 add them, you would be getting minus 7, minus 1, 3, 4, 3, 2, then uh, zeros you can neglect, okay? Now if you check here, this sequence and this sequence, it is same, okay? Methods are different, but the answer we would be getting it as same. So one, one thing we can conclude that, we can conclude that the y of n obtained is same for different methods, okay? So this is the standard way of solving this problem. So this was the solution.